is Noah Geller and I'm happy to be cooking for you today. Um, I'm gonna make a veggie pad thai-ish thing. Um, so what we're gonna do, it's basically like a peanut and tahini sauce and it has some sriracha in it which gives it like a pad thai flavor but it actually doesn't have any fish sauce in it. And this is gonna be completely vegan. Um, so if you'd like to add meat, you're more than welcome to, but um, this version of the dish is just veggies. We're using basically what I had around the house, um, some broccoli, spinach, and some zucchini. And, uh, but obviously, the main part of the dish is the sauce, right? So I'm gonna show you how we do it. What do we got? Um, peanut sauce, peanut butter. I use the fresh grind kind from like Whole Foods, or here we have PCC. So I'm gonna do like two heaping tablespoons of peanut butter. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get in trouble for that using the finger, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> all right, two tablespoons of peanut butter, and then like a tablespoon of tahini. I'm gonna do a little bit more because I kind of did heaping tablespoons of the peanut butter. All right. And I'll do like three tablespoons of tamari or soy sauce or whatever you prefer. I think we have a special visitor. Is that three? All right. Three tablespoons of soy sauce. That is good. And then, oh, this is Monkey. You want, Monkey, you want to say hi? She's like, I want some peanut butter. She wants some of that peanut butter. It's always funny to give dogs peanut butter. This never gets old. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands. All right, basically, and then you put in a third cup of water. Oh wait, no, hold on. We got uh, a tablespoon of rice vinegar heaping tablespoon, and sriracha, like as much as you want. I use this uh, wild brine brand sriracha. It's really delicious uh, because we live in the hippie Northwest, but any kind of sriracha is cool. All right. And then just add a little bit of hot water. And mix it up. All right, so I'm gonna do the veggies now. I'm gonna put like um, a tablespoon to two tablespoons of oil. This is avocado oil, make the pan nice and hot. Um, and then we got like, what do we got? About three cloves of garlic and about an inch and a half of ginger. I've been pretty liberal with that because I think that ginger and garlic is delicious no matter how much you have. Um, and we also got some scallions. We got the white parts of the scallion. Regular onion, we got jalapeno. Um, we have, of course, the green parts of the scallion, too, uh, and cilantro as a garnish. It's a, it sounds like a lot, but really it's uh, all a delicious part of Asian cooking. All right, so I'm going to start by throwing in some garlic and ginger. get 
that nice and fragrant. I know with all this coronavirus stuff going on, this is actually entertaining television. All right. Oh man. And ginger looks so good when it's cooking in oil like that. Mm. And just to be clear, I don't intend to be a role model cook for anyone. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm literally a totally amateur cook. So, and this, this is, this dish is so easy that any of you lazy fiddle players out there can do this dish. All right. So we got the ginger going. I'm going to add some scallions. Scallions and white onions. These are just like, these are leftovers. I don't know. I didn't even cut them. They were just in the house, so. They're gonna be awesome in this dish, though. It's going a little too hot right now, uh, so I'm gonna turn it down. All right, we got, um, what do we got? Ginger, garlic, scallion, onions. I'm gonna add some zucchini to this. And I cut up a jalapeno, totally optional. ready to add the rest of the veggies. I got some broccoli here, which I have blanched, which means that I just boiled it in water for about four minutes. And I've got some spinach, which cooks really fast. So what I'm gonna do is add the blanched broccoli, which is essentially already cooked. And I'm gonna add some spinach, like however much you want. I don't know. It seems like a lot, but it, it cooks down so much. By the way, this is like an everyday thing for me. I'm just a guy who spills stuff. Um, all right. And now I'm gonna add like half of the sauce and cover, okay? All right. We mix it up a little bit. So that some of the spinach gets some heat. Oh my God, what a mess. It's awesome. All right. We're almost there. Now I got my noodles cooked. I use the Annie Chun's brown rice, uh, rice noodles. Um, and a cool trick that I do is when I cool them down, I pour in a little bit of sesame oil to keep them from sticking together. It makes them super delicious. I got my veggies cooking here. I'm gonna pour the noodles in and add the rest of the sauce, mix it up, and then you have your veggie pad thai. All good. All right, we've got it all mixed together, all the sauce, all the noodles, all the veggies. I'm just gonna garnish it with a little bit of cilantro and the green part of the green onions, and you are ready to eat. You can also use lime, which we don't have in the house today. Um, I hope you guys are all healthy and well, and uh, I hope that we all can get back to making music again very soon. Cheers.